Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by Simprosis. In this video, we will walk you through how you can use automated rules for feed for submitting energy efficiency class attributes for your products. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing. And press bell icon to get notify instantly once we upload any new video. In the European Union and Switzerland, it is required by local law to display energy efficiency class information for all the applicable electronic products. When the energy efficiency class attribute is missing for the products, which require displaying of the energy efficiency class value, Google has already started raising the missing potentially required value energy efficiency class warning within the Google Merchant Center account. If a required attribute is omitted, our products may legally be non-compliant, and we as merchants are also legally accountable for the same. To resolve this sort of issue, we either need to provide the missing attribute value or need to ensure that our product is compliant without the support of the energy efficiency class attributes. We strongly recommend that you submit energy efficiency class, min energy efficiency class, and max energy efficiency class for all the applicable products. Here are the few product categories that require this attributes. Refrigerator. Washing machines. Tumble dryers. Freezers. Wine coolers and storages. Dishwashers. Microwave ovens. Water heaters hot water storage appliances, air conditioners, electrical lamps, chandeliers and luminaires, televisions, etc. Following are the supported values for energy efficiency class, min energy efficiency class, and max energy efficiency class. Before proceeding ahead with assigning these values to resolve the warning, message of missing potentially required value, energy efficiency class flag by Google Merchant Center, Please ensure that you have assigned the correct Google product category to all your products. We are suggesting this because if Google product category is not assigned by you, as per your products, in that case, Google automatically assigns a product category. There are times when the product category assigned by Google is observed to be inaccurate, the required attribute for this inaccurate product category may differ from the actual product requirements. Let's have a look at one use case we created for a demo. Here we are filtering a product using error from Merchant Center and selecting missing potentially required value energy efficiency class warning. It shows one product with two warnings for missing potentially required value energy efficiency class and limited performance due to missing identifiers GTIN, MPN, brand. As we can see, Google product category is also not assigned for this product from our app. Upon checking the same product in the Google Merchant Center, we can clearly see that this is a neon sign for bedroom is visible in the product image and stated in the product title. But Google has automatically categorized this product under digital signs, which falls under the category of business and industrial. And as per Google's shopping ads policy, Google will ask for additional attributes like energy efficiency class as well as unique product identifiers. Following the same guideline this product is showing warnings for missing potentially required value energy efficiency class and limited performance due to missing identifiers GTIN, MPN, brand. So now to resolve these warnings. We just need to assign the correct Google product category for this product within a wrap. It can be assigned using the do edits in bulk feature. We have also added a help video link for how to use bulk edit feature of the app in the description of this video. Once the Google product category is updated in the Merchant Center, warnings related to missing potentially required value energy efficiency class will vanish automatically without assigning the values for those attributes within the app. Now let's proceed with assigning energy efficiency class attributes using automated rules. The automated rules for assigning the energy efficiency class attributes within the app can be created using the options listed below. We are going to see some of the commonly used scenarios and use cases. From the app's interface, please hover over to the settings menu and select automated rules for feed. 
Now click on the plus icon and select Energy Efficiency class. The dialog window will appear, where we are proceeding ahead, by selecting the product title from the first drop-down menu, followed by contains any of as operator, and entering refrigerator and dishwasher in the value field. To create a second condition, in order to be combined with the first one, use AND option. If you would like to add multiple independent conditions, then use the OR option. For now, we will proceed to set the values for energy efficiency class. If you notice there are three sub-attributes, namely min energy efficiency class, max energy efficiency class, and energy efficiency class. There are few guidelines which need to be followed in order to submit correct and high quality data for all the products in the feed. The min energy efficiency class value must be smaller than the max energy efficiency class value. For example, your energy efficiency class scale must run from A to D, rather than D to A. The value provided for energy efficiency class must be within the range of the value of min energy efficiency class and the max energy efficiency class. For example, if your range runs from A to D, your energy efficiency class value may not be G. Please submit either the unit pricing measure or energy efficiency class attribute. Do not submit both. If both attributes are submitted, the energy efficiency class attributes will be given precedence and will only be shown with your shopping ads. Let's proceed further. Here you might have a question like, how can we know the correct energy efficiency class value for any particular product? You can find the answers for these questions from the document, manual, or the specification guide you might have received for a product, or from the energy efficiency class badge printed on the product packaging or box. It should look like the images being displayed here, which shows the list of energy efficiency classes with the class of that particular product and all the other relevant information related to the product. As it is clear from the image, energy efficiency class for refrigerator and dishwasher machine is A++, so we can select min energy efficiency class as A++, max energy efficiency class as A+, and finally select energy efficiency class as A++. After defining the condition set and the values for all the energy efficiency class attributes, kindly click on the OK button to save it. Going ahead for defining second independent automated rule by using add rule button as shown here. This time we will use the product type from the first drop-down menu. Subsequently we are using equals as an operator. When equals is used as an operator for product type of vendor or brand-based condition, it will allow us to select the predefined value from the drop-down menu. So we will need to select washing machines from the third drop-down. For this condition set, we will choose A plus for min energy efficiency class, B for max energy efficiency class, and A for energy efficiency class. Similarly, we are going to add a few more condition sets based on product type, vendor, or brand, and product tags for assigning energy efficiency class for different types of products. But don't worry, we will show you at a faster pace. So if the product is satisfying any one of the conditions in the rules, then energy efficiency class attributes can be assigned automatically to them. After saving two or more condition sets, when we hover over any condition set box, we can see up and down arrows along with the bin icon. These arrows help us decide the priority of condition sets, so that it can be sequenced accordingly for implementation. Using the bin button we can also delete any particular rule from the set of rules. Once all the rules are defined, we will save this rule as a draft. At this screen, the saved rule can be reviewed before applying, and if you wish to change or modify it, you can do so by clicking on this draft rule box. If the entire rule is not required it can be deleted by clicking on this discard draft option here. For now, let's apply this rule so that the app can reprocess the entire feed and submit the energy efficiency class values to Google Merchant Center for each product and its variants based on the condition it satisfies. Please note, after applying any automated rule within a wrap, it will take about 30 to 45 minutes to reprocess the feed and submit it to respective marketing platforms. Let's check how these applied rules look within the app and Google Merchant Center. 
please navigate to the Manage Products page in the app. As we have already created a rule to assign the energy efficiency class value for refrigerators and dishwashers, where the product contains these keywords in the title, let's click on the first product modern double door refrigerator to get redirected onto the product details page. You might find it strange, even though the product title satisfies and validates the rules condition, we are still not able to see the assigned values for energy efficiency class attributes anywhere here on the product details page. The reason behind it is, we are still working on displaying those attributes on the product details page along with it. Our team is also working on introducing this feature of assigning energy efficiency class value using the bulk edit feature of the app. Hence it will be available for everyone's usage very soon. Any qualifying value for energy efficiency class attributes which should get assigned to products automatically, as per the rules applied, will be reflected within the Google Merchant Center and other marketing platforms directly. So now let's check if the values for energy efficiency class attributes assigned through automated rule have been submitted to the Google Merchant Center or not by clicking on the direct link here. As we can see on the Google Merchant Center's product page, the value for energy efficiency class attribute already shows the A++ value along with max energy efficiency class value as A+, and min energy efficiency class value as A++++ under the raw feed attribute section. Similarly let's check another product which is LED TV, for which we have created an automated rule with a condition that if the product tag equals energy efficiency class G, then energy efficiency class should be assigned automatically as G class. As we can see on the product details page of the Google Merchant Center, values for energy efficiency class attributes are assigned automatically according to the rule we have applied. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kind of digital marketing.